Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany Smith and welcome to the CW Upfronts. I am here with the cast of Riverdale. I'm so excited because the finale just aired last night. So we've got a lot to talk about. Mm. Yeah. I feel like there's just something and I'm like, go, get into it, get into it. <laughs> How does it feel to be here today after the finale aired? I feel like I was following on social media last night. So many people were tweeting. There were some big reveals and some cliffhangers as well with Black Hood. Did we figure it out? Did we not figure it out? I think uh, there's definitely still some mysteries to be solved, for sure, in terms of the black hood. Some more people are going to die. <laughs> I agree. I'm just going to go down the line. I have nothing more to add to that. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think they said it all. I think so. it's been covered. It's yeah. been covered. <laughs> <laughs> what I love so much about this show is the chemistry between all of you guys, and as the seasons have gone on, you get to see different mixes of the chemistry between each of you guys. What were some of the most fun moments for you, kind of working with the different actors this season? Mm. KJ? Uh, <laughs> working with Charles has been fun. Uh, Charles is playing the new Reggie, obviously, and uh, working with him has, has been a blast. He's a very funny guy to work with, I think. Always, always something new each take, you know what I mean? Mm. Just cracking the boys up, for yeah. sure. Do you guys remember the lime? The lime spit? Do you remember that? Oh, the lime oh, spit. Oh, episode five. I remember the lime spit. Because <laughs> we had to do the take 14 it was, times. It was really refreshing, actually, when Charles came on the second season, because... I mean, we'd kind of got into the Gruber stuff, but like when I first worked with him, he was so like, it was like his first time like yeah. on the show. It was yeah. like me when it was my first day and it was very like, it made me like, whoa, I, I really need to, I need to take it more seriously like he is. But and then we threw in uh, Vanessa, which was super fun as well. And then yeah. some other people, you know, we had some great additions this year, Drew and Jordan, and it was a blast. Yeah. Vanessa's the best. Well, and it was announced that you guys are going to be series regulars next season as well. So how exciting is that for you guys to kind of think about how much more you're going to be involved and have all their support clapping for you guys? Yeah. It's so exciting to be a series regular for season three. It's, uh, you know, part of the dream coming true and everything and being a part of a cast that's so welcoming, and like family, like. He's, you know. You sound really, really excited about it. I'm so. <laughs> <this>. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Two KJ and I. No. <laughs> no, I'm like really excited. I'm super excited. No, I'm like, honestly, like I cried. I he cried. Holding the mic too. I cried. I cried. Hey, I cried. <laughs> I cried when I found out. Did but you really? Yeah. I cried when I found out. Yeah, I did. Well, did you cry when you found out that he was a series regular, yeah, or when you got I mean. cast? No, just him. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. We're on Instagram Live, and right now he just took out a disposable camera? I saw yeah. a moment I couldn't miss it. I don't know the last time I've seen a disposable camera. Mm, probably <laughs> we, yeah, <laughs> sir. We have those I, all over. I, no, we, start we have those all over set all the time. No They're amazing. We started that at camping no, no, no. trips. With the There's many photos that you will it. never see and no one should ever see, actually. So. I started it. KJ started it. Yeah. Hard just made it mainstream. <laughs> There's going to be disposable pictures that might be more mysteries from Riverdale, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. absolutely. This is, guys, this is how it goes on a live carpet. When you've got the cast of Riverdale, it just goes wild. You never know what's going to happen. I do want to get into some of the relationships because I think there are so many people shipping some of the new couples this season. Huh? I don't remember many. Is there a couple this season? Is there a couple this season? Is it Shoni? I'm just, I'm just coming over here. I'm gonna let them do their thing with the disposable camera. We can take, we can take over. Let's take over now. We're ready. It's our time. How much fun is it for you guys to really develop that relationship on the show? We're having a blast. It's so like we were best friends as long before. Told the world long before this. So like getting to be in a relationship with your best friend is hilarious and awesome. Also the best thing in the world because imagine kissing a stranger. Like I mean like that's just crazy. That's part of our job. So I get to kiss my best friend. Like. So, well, I feel like, to be fair, almost everyone on the show has kissed everyone else on the show. And are you guys, they're, they're disposable, I was going to say they're disposable camera selfieing, but what's happening? What is happening right now? Um, so currently at this moment, <laughs> go, go be in it, go be in it, go be in it, go do it, go do it. <laughs> this is incredible. That's all I have to say. I don't know what's going on behind me half the time. So I'm going to, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to come back over here. Um, so I am super pumped because I just got my motorcycle license. Nice. So I feel like I should get to be a serpent. Yeah. How is that for you kind of delving even deeper into that world on the show? Mm. KJ? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just going to leave the mic here and make you answer. Yeah, no, it's, it's been great. I, I, I've been riding motorcycles for a long time. My father's been riding motorcycles for a long time. But they actually don't let me ride too much on the show. You know, liability and whatnot. Um, but it's been wonderful. I think the first half of season two is really 
opening the world of Riverdale up a little bit and explaining the lore of the South Side and kind of broadening the horizons of the actual town. And then for the latter half of season two, it served as a sort of underpinning for this civil war that was brewing. And so it was nice to be a part of that lore building narrative. And of course, you've got to ask about the relationships. We talked to them a little bit. But where do we end up? Where are we going to go with Betty and Jughead next season? Well, I think they're in a great place. Um, I think there's this, this open invitation to Betty to, to now more readily involve herself in, in the sort of serpent community. And to get herself on a motorcycle, too. Right. <laughs> on the back of my hog. Uh, but I think... I think in general the serpents need all the help that they can get right now. They're kind of on the lam and, and rebuilding and recuperating. So any help from the north side they can get, I think they'll take. I love this right now because I'm like, you're being so serious and so focused. And the rest of the cast, they're like, what's going on? We're all talking to each other. How, is this what it's like on set? How do you guys all keep it together? No, no, no. no. We take set very seriously. Yeah. And there's no um, laughing. There's no shenanigans. It's no, no phones, strictly no, no phones. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the disposable camera. Just raisins and water at, at yeah. Almonds. Uh-huh. Almonds, too. And Almonds, a, uh, and a single lucky, toasted lucky. sunflower golden, seed. Golden Corral buffets. No. What the heck is that? Golden Corral, buff- golden corral buffets. <laughs> hashtag ad, hashtag Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> These are the secrets of Riverdale. This is going to go viral. What is this? Wow. Golden Corral is like... No, no, no. <laughs> I think you just revealed something that everyone else is like, don't tell our secrets on Instagram. We we don't know what he's talking about. (laughs) This is the best, you guys. Um, So everybody who didn't watch last night, they can watch it on the CW app. But if they did watch, for you guys filming the last episode, what was your favorite moments? Can you guys get into that a little bit? Were you surprised about anything? KJ? I'll let him him talk. What was your favorite moment of the finale? Oh, my uh, favorite moment of the finale was probably uh, the scene with uh, Archie and um, Betty's dad when he's uh, in the jail cell and I'm looking at him and I'm saying, that's one of the black hoods. Yeah. Because it tells us that, you know, we are still exploring this storyline. <laughs> Into the next season. <laughs> Have every year. Um, I, I really enjoyed the finale. Um, trying to remember what exactly I mean, happened. There in the was f- a pretty big moment with oh, you and, interest. yeah. I have a new love interest. Um, we uh, made out in the bathroom. Um, it's not Jugga. That's season three. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that's um, on the disposable camera. But, yeah, it was, it was fun. Cody's amazing. He plays Moose, so that was really fun. Do you guys, when you're working on a show like this, that there is so much secrecy, how far out do you guys kind of know when relationships are going to develop, when it is just going to be a friendship? We don't know anything. Nothing. It's really. Completely in the dark. Really? No idea. Season three, no idea. So do you guys just get the script? What's, what's the question? How early do you guys know about like where the relationship's going to go with new characters or even with the ones on the show? Maybe like I am. Then you know what's going to happen because I just bug Roberto to find out. Like I knew about Shoni before she even really came on the show. <laughs> Did you tell her? Yeah. I, no, she, actually you sent me that meme. Well, people started making a meme, and then that's how it kind of... That's where, I mean, like, and then he was like, actually, that could actually happen. And yeah. then I was like, wow, okay, and then it did. So we know if we're annoying enough, but... I love it, too, because I feel like now that you're revealing, you're like, yeah, if you tell me secrets, I will, I'll tell the cast and send memes. It's fine. No one will find out. And then you have the Rosie relationship with uh, Ashley Murray, who plays well, Josie. She's that, fantastic. That yeah, that's his thing. You see it sprinkled out throughout season two, and it's going to happen in a... He's starting a new hashtag. He's starting the new hashtag right now. Hashtag Rosie started about four months ago on Twitter. It wasn't me. It was him on his secret Twitter. That's what it was. I cannot confirm or deny. At Rosie 27. All right, you guys, one last question. If you could kind of give any ideas or thoughts where you would want to see your characters to go next season, what would it be? We'll just go down the line real quick. Well, he's taken Helm of the Serpents, I think, rebuilding a narrative about chasing serpents that are already lost, uh, finding them again, running from the ghoulies and Hiram and Penny would be interesting. Sort of serpents on the lamb would be quite fun. Nice. I think uh, for Archie, probably finally solving the mystery of the Black Hood and uh, making his, his so-called bones with uh, Hiram Lodge. Um, I think Kevin is a part of a lot of stories last year. We didn't really have his own story, so I think if we could really dive into see uh, a narrative really that Kevin was the forefront would be awesome. I think getting in the depth with 
who Reggie Mantle is outside of school? Inside of church. Inside of, you know, his whole fam his whole family background, what it's, you know, what his house looks like. Um, his dad, what his dad looks like, that, that'd that be great. More and more to that, however you guys. I'd love to just see Cheryl get like a supportive family, like the serpents, and see how that builds up. And I agree. Love. Yeah, just a little love, and yeah, aww. Um, yeah, I just want to let this keep going, you know? Yeah, I agree. I'd like to see where our relationship goes. I'd also like to see more of Tony's family life, um, more of her backstory. Yeah. So that's something I'd like to see in season three. Awesome. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to chat with us. And you guys, if you didn't watch last night, which I know you all did, but you want to watch again, watch the Riverdale finale on the CW app. Bye, guys.